hello back again and today i am going up there route or i'm back it's sunny let's do this <laughs> So I hope you're all okay. Sorry, I've got my sunglasses on, but if I take them off, I'm squinting. Um, yeah, as you can see, I've got my rucksack on today. This is my little practice walk ahead of my wild camp in a couple of weeks time. Carrying 12 kgs. <laughs> so let's see how we get on, eh? Actually feels really good at the minute, but I have literally only just walked up from the car. But yeah, really good. Loads of people around, so I don't know how much filming I'll get done. And it's really flipping windy, so I'm hoping that the sound is okay. And I'm really sorry if it's not a few issues with this mic, to be fair. It does a lot of clicking and weird noises when it's not meant to. But yeah, should be awesome though. So yeah, I think you can see route or in the distance. Gonna see how I feel because further on is Brown Willie. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm gonna, just gonna see how my back's feeling, my hips, and yeah, just see what happens really. Exciting. You have to excuse the puffing, but for anyone who saw my failed attempt at coming up route or when the weather was hideous, this is about the point I got to. So, well, I don't think I even got this far to be fair. So yeah, I'm already winning. <laughs> oh, Definitely good to come out and do a practice though. This isn't where I'm gonna be camping. I'm gonna be on Dartmoor, but just to, yeah, get some miles in, practice carrying my rucksack. It's the first time it's been out. So it's loaded up pretty much as if I was camping to be fair so yeah really good to have a bit of a trial run and I've brought a new little stove with me that I'm gonna use on my camp so I'm gonna make myself a copper practice with the stove and yeah should be a really good few hours out hopefully gorgeous day yeah good day to be alive Oh. Right, I really hope it's not too windy so you can hear me. So I'm heading up this way. The path kind of comes up and curls round over that little tour, which I've no idea what it's called, I'll have to look it up. And then that little one, and then over to Rao Tour. But it is heaving. <laughs> there are so many people here. So many. You can see people climbing up the hill over there. And then there's like a pack of them behind me. But yeah, gorgeous though, isn't it? When I get to the top of this bit, I'll be able to show you Brown Willie. I actually thought I'd made a bit of a schoolgirl error got my legs out today because it was so sunny but actually it was freezing but up here I'm tucked out of the wind because of the brow of the hill it's boiling so yeah good move there are so many people I know I keep saying it but man alive they're everywhere filming's going to be really difficult especially up on the route or literally following a crowd of people but I'm going to go and get to the top, take some footage of the views and then 
tuck myself somewhere with my stove and have a cuppa and something to eat. Got hot cross buns day. It is Easter after all. from people. I found a lovely little spot, tucked myself out the wind and a whole flipping family came and sat right next to me. So yeah, I'm actually, so the summit is oh, up there behind me. I'm trying to find a view where I can sit and look at Brown Willie. Sit and look at a Willie while I'll have my lunch. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't think I'm going to head over to Brown Willys today. I think I'm not going to push it. And at the minute I'm feeling really good. So I just think I'll save that for another day. But so Brown Willie is the highest point. Let me turn you around again. The highest point on Bodmin Moor. It's actually only 20 metres higher than Rautor. Um, and it's, yeah, it looks like quite an easy climb to be honest because it's quite a gradual kind of incline. But, so I'm just trying to find a little spot where I can tuck myself away. There's quite a lot of scrabbling here and with a massive rucksack on, not so easy. But hey, I got here and I did it and it's gorgeous weather. So yeah, really chuffed, really chuffed. And the rucksack's really comfortable, which is amazing. I think I'm just going to sit myself down here. There, not a bad view for my lunch, eh? A bit hazy today otherwise you'd be able to see for miles from up here. That's looking out over the rest of Bodmin Moor. I am sorry about the wind. Next time, next time I will head over there. I'll just miss Rautor and go straight for go straight for the wheelie lads. <laughs> Epic view though, isn't it? Oh, amazing. Right, I'm just gonna set up my tripod and get my little stave out and show you. Hang on a sec. Right, I'm gonna try and do this one-handed, so I apologize now if it doesn't go very well. So this is my little Tokes titanium pot in its little bag. I've got me, got my wooden spoon, obviously. And then in here I've got a lighter and a ferro rod. And this is my little stove I bought. Oh, and my my peace tea. Serene blend of hemp, spearmint, and ashwagandha. Yeah. So that's what I'm gonna have in a minute. But so this is my new little stove, which I have bought just for my well not just, but I've bought it predominantly for my upcoming wild camp. It's a little alcohol burner. I love alcohol burners personally. So it's a little thing like that. And then you put your burner in there. Basically a trounger burner for all intents and purposes. And then I've also got a little Vargo titanium windshield. I'll just sit around it like that. So that's my setup. Not bad, is it? I don't know how much it weighs. I will weigh it all when I get home. I've actually I've actually ordered some scales this week so I can weigh some of my gear because I haven't ever really done that before. So yeah, I'm gonna get the get a pot of water on and have a cup of tea. So I think that little setup's gonna work quite well for my wild camp. Exciting. I keep buying stuff. <laughs> bought loads of stuff for my camp. I bought a silicon collapsible cup which is on its way. I've bought a synthetic coat, puffer coat so it's warm goes down to minus 30 just in case you know. <laughs> um, yeah so I've bought this little stove, 
I've bought a trowel in case I need to dig a hole. Really hope I don't have to dig a hole. Things would be really desperate if that's the case. <laughs> I'm trying to think what else I've bought. I've bought loads. I keep buying more as well. But hey, it's exciting. I can't wait. So yeah, 12th of April, hopefully. Be out camping, hopefully, as long as I don't move or change any of the dates. Exciting. So excited. I got a bit nervous even just coming out for a walk today, though, mind. So I might just be a bag of nerves when I do my camp. But yeah, really looking forward to it. So lots of planning this weekend. Um, yeah, it's awesome. And I've bought a tent. <laughs> so... I was a bit worried about carrying my Cloud Peak because it's, I think, two and a half kilos. Um, yeah, before I've obviously taken anything else. Um, and friends of mine, Gareth and Zoe, have recently bought um, the Snug Pack Ionospheres. Looked really good. So I have purchased one of those and it's only 1.2 kilos, I think, which is a massive difference. Got it in my rucksack today. I'm not going to try putting it up or anything, but I just, I've literally packed my rucksack as if I was camping, really. Um, I've got a litre bottle of um, meths with me, though that's not <laughs> obviously what I'm going to take on a wild camp, but it just, I just stuck it in there for the weight, really. Um, but I haven't obviously got like a day's worth of food. Whoop. Just a bit of bruiser. So yeah I figured it'll kind of even out a little bit really so yeah that's new as well so you have to keep to keep buying things but it will definitely get a lot of use so it's an investment the way I see it so I'm just having a look around here thinking do you know what if you had the opportunity you could easily tuck that somewhere here off the beaten track obviously um wild camping is not officially allowed on Bodmin Moor like it is on Dartmoor and um, so you'd have to be proper proper sneaky about it um, but yeah it's awesome just the the wilderness is just yeah really good to get away and just have a bit of headspace so yeah amazing amazing tell you what I do quite like is this lid has got its own little handle on it so it folds flat then you fold it out to put your charger out which is genius because I'm always a bit of a like tactical thrower and then <laughs> miss but yeah it's good my water is I'd say almost boiling I know it takes longer than a jet boil but I'm I don't like gas I don't trust it, it scares me never never had gas at home not even growing up so yeah alcohol burn all the way for me right that's where i was sitting leave no trace i have to say actually i haven't seen much rubbish which is amazing so heading back over there and back to the car now I do have to say, I'm regretting getting the legs out today. It's cold. <laughs> really is cold. Oh, right, so I'm heading back down. The car park's down there behind me. So, yeah, route or behind me. <laughs> I'll turn you around so you can see where I'm going. Hang on. So, walking over this way, back round, down to the car. It's not a, not a long walk at all. I think it's about a mile, mile and a half maybe from the car up to the top of Routor. So yeah, just a short walk today. But I'm really pleased with how comfortable my rucksack is. Really chuffed with that. I'm just hoping you can hear me okay because it is really windy. And it's the wind that's cold actually. In the sun it's beautiful but the wind is freezing <laughs> just filmed a whole section and he wasn't filming <laughs> so as there's not many people around i think i'm going to say goodbye now just enjoy the walk back to the car so thank you so much for coming with me i hope you've enjoyed it I hope you're all okay um i've been keeping a list this week 
for everyone who's entered to win my spoon. So I know this video will come out after I've announced the winner, but it's been very exciting. I can't believe how many people have entered and I've yeah, said such lovely things. So that's been really exciting as well this week. So yeah, take care. All right, guys. And I will see you again soon. See you later. Bye.